Yo, what's good guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be the Mermail Orcas deck profile. It's a good one. Oh, it's a good one. You guys are going to love it. No skit today, unfortunately. We are so busy releasing so many new stuff on this channel. It's crazy. Got some big news for you guys. Replacing the skit with some big news. From now on, I stream every single day. So before you watch this video, go in the description. Follow my Twitch right now. I stream the process of creating these decks. How I do it, I just broke BAs. So I'll be posting that video shortly. But make sure to go follow my Twitch. I'll be streaming every single day from around 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Every single day, Eastern Time. And we just released, it's not a it's real merch shop, but it's like a little tiny one. But we do just release some Triff merch, so we do check it out. Nothing major right now, but we are going to be releasing a whole bunch of stuff. T-shirts, sweaters, everything uh, are oriented around stick to the game plan. You already know the same saying I started since day one. Stick to the game plan. Jokingly, anyways, there's going to be some good merch coming out. So do check out the, do check out the description, guys. A lot of stuff's coming. A lot of new stuff's coming. It's going to be crazy. Time to expand the channel to new heights. Time to start the channel to new heights. It's going to be crazy. All right, so go enjoy this deck profile. I've been so busy. Not, like, I literally work 18 hours a day on all this. So no skit today. Tomorrow, you're going to love it. I'm probably going to be posting the BA deck tomorrow. You're going to love it. So enjoy this video. Tomorrow, BA deck. Don't forget to subscribe both to this channel and to my Twitch. Check out my trick gameplay map. Maybe check out my trip store as well. Keep in mind one thing. I did, as I'm doing the deck profile, I changed the deck list a bit. I took out a Monster Reborn and a Card Destruction for two more Megalos. So keep that in mind as you're watching. There are two more Megalos in this deck instead of a Monster Reborn and a Card Destruction. So keep that in mind as you're watching. I make the change as I'm doing the profile. And I make some extra changes as well. So pay close attention. Stay tuned to the end. It's an amazing profile. See you guys at the end of the video. Honestly, this is greatness at its finest. I'm not going to show you guys that my amazing, amazing Mermail, uh, Atlantean, Danger Orcas PK deck, really utilizing the Deep Sea Diva, the Prince, the Dragoons, the, even the Genix Undines, because any of these cards, draw any of them, you, you have crazy combos. Like, it's like a one, all of them are like one card, uh, five negates or something like that. It's absolutely insane. With most hands also ending on a, a, an Omega, Moon Glacier, so 99% hands, gonna have Moon Glacier, Omega for three interruptions on the other hand, a negate, a spell negate with Megalo searching the. Mizusuchi card and uh, the Lancelot card uh, giving you a negate and a VFD at the same time. So most hands, uh, if you have a full five card hand, I only showed you guys the video where it's like just one Nepta Prince, Nepta Abyss Prince, uh, where it's like one for one Diva Prince. Any of those are any of those five are one card, six six interruptions, and if you try in conjunction with dangers even more, we only we don't play much dangerous, uh, just nine, uh, just because you want level threes. You only want level 3s to get a free Omega. That's it. That's literally the only reason you play them. You don't need more monsters on board, but 9 is fine. Like, just draw one. You sort of want to draw one of the 9. That's it. You don't want too many dangers. And if, you, if you're really strapped for cash and don't want to play the dangers, they're really not that necessary. I just value giving you guys the highest quality video. It's not like I'm playing 20 dangers or something. Just play these good 9. And if you don't want to spend money on it, simply max out the Mega Lows. Uh, so, play two. Like, if you don't play, take out Allures for Moria Greeds. Take a card destruction and uh, the nine dangerous so has ten cards left. And for those ten, you'll put in two Megalos, three Abyssius, that's five, uh, three Gundy, that's eight, and then two more um, a Pike. And there you go. You got yourself a beautiful mer uh, complete Mermail deck of no dangers if you are trying to save some money. But this is the best version because you want free level threes because Lapis Dragon is level five. I'll now explain the deck and what Lapis Dragon is. Deep Sea Diva, three Nepta Piz Prince, three Dragoons, three Undyne. Undyne's amazing. Undyne send Dragoons. Get Lapis Dragon. Oh, it's also what the whole combo does with uh, Prince and Diva. For those who don't know what Lapis Dragon does, it's a Sea Serpent. Search well by Dragoons. When this card's added from your deck, you can buy a card effect, special summon it. And it's a level 5 tuner, which is comes to the danger part. You play 9 cards that say special level 3 from your deck. So the point of that is that any level 3s simply uh, make Lapis Dragon a 1 card Omega. Or a one card Boral Savage Dragon. Get yourself another negate. You could easily get rid of two cards from their hand, put up three negates and a VFD. That's a, literally insane. 
This deck also blitzkrieg's through hand traps, which is why I love it. You obviously start with the mermail plays. They're forced to interrupt your mermail plays, or else you're gonna moon glacia them into oblivion. No one wants that. So when they attempt to protect their moon glacia or them from getting moon glacia, they're gonna waste a hand trap or two on getting moon not to get moon glacia, and in doing so, because uh, they are all, most of them are for cost, you still end up getting a bunch of pluses. So even though they attempt to stop the Nepta Prince. Uh, they lose a hand trap for that, but you're still going to get pluses from it and two monsters on board for free. And then you get literally a free mermaid, uh, which they're going to have to Ash Mermaid, the Ash or Baylor and Permanence of the Prince or the uh, other plays or the Moon Glacia. And then that's where you go into the absolutely wreck them with multiple negate combos. So you play one Megalo because you get the Mizuuchi from it. Uh, you can play more, but one's really all that's necessary. If you want to fuck some of them with three secrets, go ahead and do it. That's something I would do as well. Abyssius is a decent card as well, but only play Abyssius if you took out all the dangers. But dangers are just better because you want, like I said, uh, more level threes that are free summons. Because uh, Lapis Dragon turns into a free Synchro 8, which is a free Boral Savage or a free Omega. Uh, you Every turn, you, you uh, your most turns are going to end up on Moon Glacia, Omega. So three cards ripped out of their hand. Uh, Megalo, which is going to give you a Spell and Negate. A Lancelot, which is going to give you any Negate. So it's two Negates. A Redoer, which is going to bounce anything slash Denko. Three negate or three interruptions and then a VFD. So you're gonna have three cards left. Like that's literally nuts. That's insane. Uh next, so like I said, nine dangers. You don't need to play more. Uh for the best for even the best version, Genix Undyne's really good in this deck. And I wouldn't even I wouldn't even play the Mothman and the Triple Cobra. Uh, this nine's perfect. You don't need to play too much. But again, like I said, if you're strapped for cash, take them off with other mermail cards. Two Orcus Nightmare, one horror, one skeleton, one world one. It's not debatable. Every single Mermail deck moving forward must, must play Orcusts. It is not debatable. It is the best, one of the best decks Orcus can go into. Why? Because Mermaid's water, and that's absolutely nuts for Mermails. Uh, it triggers all their effects. That's insane. That's absolutely insane. It's not debatable. You must play them. And the fact that uh, Moon and Glacier gives you a free level 8, the synergy is insane with, rank, with PKs as well. Synergy is just so damn good with the whole Danger, Orcus, PK engines. Simply because your level 3s are needed for it. With Lapis Dragon, uh, Lapis Dragon lets you make Mermaid easily. Uh, Moon Glacier is level 8 to make uh, Lancelot easily. And the PKs are, uh, Lancelot just always be a dark. Rusty just always be able to pop it to trigger its effect. To somehow get rid of Lancelot's negates or materials. Uh, it's just insane, the synergy with this. And then you play 1-1 one, one for 1 because obviously you get Neptibus from it. A Monster Reborn just because... Uh, I enjoy being able to keep going with your with combos. If you really wanted to take any card out in this whole deck, it would be take out a Monster Reborn and a card destruction for two more Megalos, just to ensure that every single hand is going to have every single hand is gonna ha uh, be able to re uh, resolve a Megalo uh, to get Mizuchi. So you know what? I'm gonna end up doing that. Yeah, I'm gonna add two more Megalos there. Uh, screw it. Megalos too nice. Three secret Megalos in the deck with some all teacher goons in there. It's too beautiful not to play. So we're gonna throw the three Megalos in there over card destruction and monster reborn. I did throw card destruction in there because you want to ensure that you always have one of your five auto win six negate one card six negates. But fuck it, whatever. Who cares? Yeah, you throw an upstart goblin triple allure in there. Allure, even though you're playing a water deck, you have nine dangers and undying always search a genus controller. And you got all your orc guys. Allure is going to resolve all the time. Orcs are going to turn one Mizuchi and one rank up, one Brigadine. Now the extra deck. Uh, in the past, I obviously have, Fogbite is better than rank ups, 100%. But if you're playing a deck like this where you get rid of three cards in their hand and they summon a side card like a Denko, who cares? They have for two cards and you have like multiple negates. So who cares if they rank up at that point? Where it's like they have two cards left and you have two, three negates. So who cares if they if they want to summon a Denko? So it's all good at that point. Uh, one Nightmare Mermaid, one Nightmare Phoenix. One Nightmare Unicorn, one Galatea, one Summon Sork, one Underclock. You know, play Underclock uh, simply in case you, they ask your Mermaid and you still want to go into the Rusty combo. And if you get one of your Darks, which you have nine dangers, you're obviously going to get it. Uh, and the Genesis Control, you're obviously going to get a Dark in there. So if you Underclock two Waters, you end up getting Rusty regardless. And typically still going rank up even if they ask your Mermaid. And, uh, and getting rid of the three cards. So it's insane. Like, even if they uh, stop your Mermaid... You still get a three cards from their hand, and you still rank up into something crazy. So, it's absolutely nuts. Uh, Karen Gorgon, I don't know why I put Karen Gorgon in here. We're actually going to take that out. 
Uh, one Redoer. Uh, Oral, oh, Oral Boros is there for our old combo, so we're taking that out as well. Uh, one Lancelot. One True King Calamities. Uh, that's what you ranked up into. VFD. Boros Savage. Omega. Now we have two free cards. We'll take out the other two cards. We're at this point going to put in uh, Nightmare Cerberus. It's nice to have more Nightmares around, especially since you're, uh, you're going to have to go into one for Mermaid. And uh, at this point, you can play one of anything you want. I would suggest going second cards. You don't need to side stuff like Dwala or Random Rank 4s. This is enough negates in itself, and it's literally auto-win negates. So you rather have more cards that are great going second. I tested the Strudo. There's no reason for it. I don't like playing three to Strudo on one Mirror Mirror. It's uh, just not good enough. Uh, unless you're playing more ways to put the Strudo into the graveyard. It's not good enough. Fuller's Barrow is another option to play in the deck. But the only real target that does anything uh, is uh, sending one of your Orcas cards. But you're going to get it anyways in the combo. It's not worth it in case you get Ash. Like, even if you get Ash, it's just not worth it. Like Playing a one card one of that's only viable if, you get, if your Mermaid gets Hand Trap. Which they're going to Hand Trap the Mermaid cards anyways. Or the Alignment cards. Is not necessary at all. So... I did make a few changes as I'm making the deck profile. You guys got to see in the mind of a pen god as I built this deck. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, guys. And I definitely play triple megalo because having Mizushi is nice, especially because it stops twin twisters to ensure your, your stuff plays. And even if they twin twister you, you're getting rid of three cards in their hand. So after twin twister, they can be left with one card. And who cares, man? This deck's too nice. This deck is too good. This deck is too good, man. Uh, I don't want to play more Mermaid cards for the record. Dangers are too nice, but if I said if you were like I said, just take out the nine dangers at this point. Take out the nine dangers and put in three Abyssus, three Gundy, and three Pike, and you got yourself no dangers if you want to save some money. That's the deck. Hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next video. Peace. Yo, hope you guys like this Mermaid Tech profile. Yo, Connor, what do you think? Don't do fucking nothing. Damn right, don't do nothing. Deck profile is amazing. This deck's incredible. Do try it out. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe to Trip Gaming and to my Twitch down below. And if you're interested, go check out my Triff merch. Also in the description. Not too many stuff already right now. We're releasing multiple model products eventually. Check out my mat as well. We'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace.